one. It is you know who. Anyway, today it is freezing outside. It's beautiful, it's sunny, but it is cold. And I know I'm not going to get any sympathy from you in the east or you in the west because we've all had really different winter. Anyway, on Saturday it promises to be warm, so we're going to play golf. And then eight people are coming back here for dinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice, easy crock pot recipe. I love this thing. Everybody should have a crock pot or a slow cooker. It's the best. Anyway, I'm going to make baby back ribs. And I had these last week at my friend's house, Leslie. I have to give her some recognition. But I am going to plagiarize her recipe and put it on my video. Okay, I admit it. It's a going to be a saucy, tangy, lemony barbecue sauce with these ribs. The secret ingredient, of course, are these lemons. These lemons, they grow big in Tucson. I mean, they really do. So I'm going to go get everything ready. I'm going to make the sauce today. And then I'm going to refrigerate it for two days so that when it comes time for me to put the ribs into the crock pot, I have most of my work done. So then I can go play golf and not worry about it. So as usual, I'm going to go get everything, measure it, open it up, measure it, slice it, and have it all ready. Put it in the bowl, whisk it up, and then refrigerate it. I'll be right back. And here we have all the ingredients for the barbecue sauce that I am going to make ahead of time and put in the refrigerator until I need it tomorrow. I have thinly sliced and chopped my onion and celery. I have cider vinegar and chili sauce here. I have um, brown sugar, lemon, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, red pepper flakes, dry mustard, and butter. And the first thing I'm going to do is Take four tablespoons of butter and take the onion and celery mixture and cook them until they are soft. Then I am going to whisk all the other ingredients into it and cook it and you will see that when I'm done. Very I have the onion and celery mixture in here and I'm cooking it for about five minutes, stirring it frequently until it is soft. Now the mixture of onions and celery are soft, so I'm going to put in my red chili pepper flakes, my dry mustard, my garlic cloves, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, and last but not least, cider vinegar with chili sauce. I'm going to start whisking that, and then at the end, I'm going to add my lemon, and I'm going to cook it on low for about five minutes. And then I am just going to let it cool and refrigerate it until I need it tomorrow. Of course, during this time, I'm going to taste it, add some more spice if I need it, add maybe more brown sugar if it is too spicy. That's up to you. I'll let you know how it tastes. As you can see, I've stirred everything together, including the slices of lemon. I'm putting it on a low to medium heat for about five minutes. Then I'm going to let it cool and put it in the refrigerator until tomorrow. And then you'll see me in the morning get my ribs ready in the slow cooker and cook them all day while I go play golf. That's what we do on Saturdays when the weather is nice. I'll check in later. Good morning, bloggers. Saturday morning, and it's a lovely day here in Tucson. We're going to go play golf. Last night I made the tangy sauce that's going to go on top of these lovely baby back ribs that I am going to put in the slow cooker, my favorite appliance. I'm going to put them there today, put them in, season it with salt and pepper, and the other half of my celery and onions that I chopped up last night. Put them on low for 
seven to eight hours. By the time we come home, the aroma will be permeating throughout the house. How easy is this? You make everything, put it in the crock pot, and then you have time to go play golf. So, I'm going to cut them up, put them in the crock pot, season them only with salt and pepper, and this mixture, and I'm out of here. See you later on when everything is ready and I put the sauce on top. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. Bye-bye. So I have to be honest with you people. We just got home from playing golf. So it's 10 of 2. I put this on at 7.30 this morning before we left on low. Well, they're done. They're really done, like the bones are off the meat, which is good. It's not a bad thing. So I took all the meat out of the crock pot and I put it in this roasting pan. And then I took my tangy, lemony sauce that I made last night and I heated it up and put it on top. Now it's two o'clock. We're not having people for dinner till 6.30. So here's a perfect example of, oh my God, what do you do? Oh, people freak on that. Look, these people are getting a free meal and it's, even if you screw it up, it's gonna be good. So I think I'm gonna do is put this in the refrigerator and then I think I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes to put this on top of so that if it is off the bone, It'll look kind of good on the mashed potatoes instead of picking them up in your hands and chewing them like they were hoping. You got to learn to wing it. That's the beauty of cooking. Not everything comes out perfect. Look, even I, Chef YRD, didn't come out perfect. But you know what? What would Julia say? She would say, never let them know you've made a mistake. I didn't make a mistake. It just crock pot cooked it a lot quicker than I thought. So even I try recipes for the first time ever and serve it to eight people. Who cares? It's a free meal. I'll let you know how it goes later.